Welcome to part 3 on my dual engine smart car. My original idea was to use rear hubs, but first let's try to spline the fronts. First I need to open up the solid hub centers. I started drilling out the centers. And I used a boring bar to machine it to size. I bored out the major and minor diameters and I got both the front hubs bored out. I made this bar, put a carbide tip on the end to make a brooch. So it should fit that pretty well. Should be a lot of strokes back and forth on the lathe, but I'll like that it should brooch. And so I made made this wheel. I just 3D printed it because I didn't want to spend a lot of effort if it didn't work. So I made this wheel and it's keyweighed to the arbor of the lathe. And then this bar will just bolt on <laughs> 33 times around. Let's see if this works. Okay, there's three started. Let's continue. Okay, and carbide tip seems to be holding up. Looks like we got quite a bit more done. Okay, I took the end of a junk CV axle and I ground it flat. We're going to push it through for the final sizing with some lapping compound. And there it goes. Okay, there's the finished spline. But after I got through, I did notice it was a little crooked. All that work, too. So what I ended up doing is taking these rear hubs that are factory splined. I cut the bolt ears off. And then I machined it down to press into the front hubs. I tack welded this nut so that it could turn this, then I'll grind that off. So now I got a rear bearing for the front. It's going to be about a half an inch wider track on each side. Okay, I got both of the rear hubs machined out. <coughs> I'll fit the front. And now. Front hubs. Yes, I gotta bore out that to that. A laminate trimmer with a carbide bit, an electric die grinder, earmuffs, and gloves. But this is a first project that nobody's ever done before. These parts aren't available, so I have to modify them myself. Enjoy. Okay, just so I wasn't grinding with the bearing in, I made this plastic piece the same dimensions, step down from here to here. So this goes into the hub. So that represents the actual position of the hub. And this is where the surface 
the CV axle sits up against. So now I got clearance. Clearance. <laughs> Stock. Modified. Okay, now we're going to assemble the one-way Sprague differential. I turned down this piece of plastic so I can use it to insert the seals. I can also use it to remove the seals if I need to. I already got this one assembled. Now let's go put this one together. I also need to remove the seals on one side of each of these two bearings. Okay, now to assemble the stock differential gears. Okay, I made these spacers with a notch in them. They'll take up the space from the original ring gear. The differential bolt will go through. And then I'll have clearance for these sprag bolts to run through. <laughs> 